Edward Thorndike, a pioneer of educational psychology formulated the laws of learning. These laws are universal and can be applied in all kinds of learning. In today's video, we will dive into the definition and some applications of these laws. The law of readiness. The law of exercise. The law of effect. The law of primacy. The law of recency. And the law of intensity. So, without any further ado, let's get straight into it. The law of readiness signifies that learning can only occur when the student is ready to learn. Because consequently, if the learners are eager and ready to learn something, they can absorb all the knowledge effectively, with greater intensity and gratification. So, it is the teacher's method how to make the learners ready that helps to apply this readiness to learn. For example, at the very intro of this video, I immediately present to you the topic that you will be going to learn in watching this video. By doing that, you have an idea and expectation of what to learn. So, if this interests you, you will keep on watching. But if you're not interested, you will just click off. The same goes for the traditional classroom. It is important that the teacher hook the student's attention before they begin or at the beginning of the course or lesson. The law of exercise is designed for the learner to practice something to retain the knowledge. This law is an application to some courses in universities. Where you have a chemistry lecture course, and a separate chemistry laboratory course. The concepts that you'll learn in the lecture class will then be applied in your laboratory class. To a more specific example, in the chemistry class your professor discussed a topic about calorimetry. This concept will be more understandable if you'll get to do a hands-on experiment in the laboratory class. Through this what you learned in the lecture class will be more meaningful. The law of effect can be simplified as strengthening the learning process by connection or giving the learner a satisfying feeling and learning will be more established if it is more likely to happen. In contrast, it also means that learning is weakened when associated with an unpleasant feeling or if learning is less likely to occur. Are you still studying for the licensure exam at least twice or thrice a week? If yes, then the law of effect said that you're doing great. If no is your answer, then ask Thorndike. The law of primacy tells that the duty of a teacher, an instructor, or an educator is important to present logically. For example, math teachers teach a lesson deductively by presenting a formula, then applying that formula, so the students can follow through and can solve math problems on their own. Thus, the teacher must teach this carefully, without missing any details, without confusing the students, so that the students will get it correctly. This is because once a person learns something, it is difficult to tell them that it is actually different. This will only lead to confusion because relearning is difficult than initial learning. The law of recency simply tells that a person can remember the most recent lesson in the class. And conversely, the older the topic is the more difficult a person is to remember. This law is the reason why after an exam, all the knowledge that you just studied will slowly evaporate, and it is much harder to recall. The law of intensity is applied when the learning process creates exciting and more realistic experiences. For example, science fair or science camps excites most students because they can participate on contests and tasks, making them least likely to forget the experience. Hope you learned from this video. If you're more interested in other professional education topics, click or tap the screen for more.